Activision's popular first-person shooter franchise certainly has affection for the world of cinema. A lot of affection. I'll either keep this for close encounters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Call of Duty moments ripped straight from the movies. I'd like to keep this handy for close encounters. I heard that. For this list, we're looking at scenes and sequences in the Call of Duty series that most evidently pay homage to or even borrow directly from Hollywood movies. Be it triumphant escapes, brutal deaths, or extended firefights, these moments feel like a deliberate tipping of the hat to film, if not a ripping of the hat. Number 10, An Evening with Infinity Ward, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. An odd parallel to draw, perhaps, but the similarity here is too apparent to ignore. Well, this is like a David Copperfield thing. Upon completion of the campaign in Modern Warfare 2, players are rewarded with the bonus mission, Museum. This extra excursion allows you to explore a California museum where characters from the campaign are all represented by statues. And much like the film Night at the Museum, they come to life. Unlike that film, however, said characters can turn hostile at the literal push of a button. Hey, at least there's plenty of weapons with which to defend yourself. The museum is on the verge of total anarchy. Look, I tried. I came back tonight, didn't I? I tried. That was one night. Number nine, payback. Call of Duty, Black Ops. Some revenge is served cold, and sometimes it's driven by seething hot rage. This sequence leans on the latter way of thinking. After freeing themselves from captivity, U.S. soldiers Mason and Woods opt to take the fight directly to their captors. This means commandeering a helicopter and decimating various Soviet encampments, both in the air and on the ground. Mason and Woods' self-imposed mission is framed in a similar manner to the climax of Rambo First Blood Part II, right down to the liberation of the POWs and the brutal violence. <laughs> Number 8, Cliffhanger, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. All right, the ice is good. Follow me. Well, it's certainly not shy about its inspiration. <laughs> Sharing a name with the 1993 film Cliffhanger, this mission commences with Captain McTavish and Roach Sanderson, operatives for the multinational group Task Force 141, on a cliffside in Kazakhstan. The duo then proceeds to carefully traverse a mountain infiltrate a military base by snow, and eventually flee by ways of snowmobile. Everything about the mission's intensity and action-heavy structure feels like a fitting escalation of the various snowbound action sequences in Cliffhanger. And as the third mission in Modern Warfare 2, it helps to set the tone going forward. Alright, our captain to our comms. Head southeast and plant your C4 to the fueling station. Number 7, Shock and Awe, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Such brutality, such tragedy. In the final moments of the first act of Call of Duty 4, the United States Marines are pushing their advantage against the forces of Khaled al-Assad. The Marines' efforts are conveyed in a mission-long homage to Black Hawk Down, from its high-tension firefights to the constant traversal via helicopter. We got a Black Hawk down, we got a Black Hawk down. We have a Cobra down. I'll repeat, we have a Cobra down. It all comes to a head when a helicopter is shot down, with the Marines making a bold detour to rescue their fallen comrades. Sadly, as in the film, such noble heroics are undertaken in vain, although I don't remember a nuke in Black Hawk Down. Number 6, Patrol Boat, Call of Duty, Black Ops. Let's see what think of this. Goes out, goes out, goes out. Even on the river, the jungle's a dangerous place for a soldier. Come out, come down. As part of operations in Vietnam, Alex Mason and his allies board a riverboat in order to reach a crashed plane. Don't get killed, sir. All right. Thus, players are treated to a sequence of blasting Soviet and Viet Cong forces, at once a distinct set piece in its own right, and also something of a tribute to Apocalypse Now. On top of the harrowing combat, visceral explosions, and the use of a riverboat for its actions, 
We also have the bonus of a song by the Rolling Stones, accentuating the entire sequence. Well played. <laughs> Number 5, Bowman's Death, Call of Duty Black Ops. Next. Once more, we see a reminder that the Vietnam War was truly hell. At the start of the mission, Payback, Mason is in the captivity of Viet Cong forces, along with his longtime friend Woods and Bowman. You! No talk. Play! How about you? I'm out! Said captors, accompanied by Soviet officers, eventually bring Mason and Bowman out to play a game of Russian roulette something Bowman objects to, for which he is fatally punished. Communist piece of shit. <laughs> the suddenness of Bowman's demise segues into a tense encapsulation of the Russian roulette scenes from Deer Hunter. Go ahead! Go ahead, Stevie! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Go ahead! Capping off a grimly impressive escape. <laughs> Number 4, Wolverines, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. Is this homage or plagiarism? Things start off calmly enough, with United States radar scans seemingly on the fritz, until it turns out the Russian army is dropping forces into Washington, D.C. How the hell did they get through? The concept of Russian paratroopers abruptly attacking America feels like it's drawn wholesale from the 1984 film Red Dawn, further reinforced by this mission being named after the film's resistance fighters. Wolverine! Wolverines purposely draws from lingering fears of foreign invasion to great effect, with the player having to battle through DC neighborhoods littered with familiar American iconography. Suffice to say, it hits home in more ways than one. Number 3, Point to Uck, Call of Duty 2. Get down! It's an epic charge in one of modern history's most remembered battles. We will accept nothing less than full victory. The Battle of Point du Hoc, the first American-centric mission in Call of Duty 2, has players in the role of U.S. Army Corporal Bill Taylor. Specifically, you are tasked with guiding Taylor through a recreation of the Normandy beach landings of 1944, coming ashore in a cramped boat, only to have to evade gunfire on a rocky beach. <laughs> Setting aside the limits on blood and violence, the mission effortlessly mirrors Saving Private Ryan in terms of capturing the relentless combat and the ever-present threat of death. We'll see you on the beach! Medal of Honor Allied Assault in 2002 also referenced this film, even having more similar lines and scenes than Call of Duty. But that's not the countdown we're doing on this list today. Head for cover and get to the shingles. I'll see you on the beach. Number two, Stalingrad, Call of Duty, and Call of Duty World at War. Anyone caught deserting his post will be shot. A film so inspirational, it needed to be drawn upon twice. Hold your fight. Wait until the bombers are directly overhead. The sound of the engines will drown out your shot. The original Call of Duty features a string of missions set in Stalingrad that depict Soviet soldiers charging into the fray, similar to those depicted in Enemy at the Gates. <laughs> However, this would not be the last nod to Jean-Jacques Arnaud's 2001 film. At one point in World at War, the player is dropped into the aftermath of a mass slaughter as lone soldier Dmitry Petrenko. When Sergeant Reznov, the only other survivor, hands over his sniper rifle, the player becomes part of a brutal restaging of the sniping sequence from Enemy at the Gates. Which one do you think I should aim at first? You should wait till there's an explosion. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mason. Woods, you look like having shit. So tough as shit to jump. Stop, baby. Number one, the Gulag. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. McTavish. Michael Bay would be proud. As it happens, the mission The Gulag has McTavish and his cohorts in Task Force 141 quietly and respectfully infiltrating a Russian prison from a certain point of view. I'll tap into the system and look for the prisoner. It's gonna take some time. The explosive gunfights take the task force into a series of showers, replete with eager snipers and riot shield wielding opponents. Your unit is covered from an elevated position, Commander. I'm not gonna ask again. Don't do anything stupid. Clearly drawn from Bay's film The Rock, 
this is not the only sequence drawn from that source. The missions Whiskey Hotel and The Only Easy Day Was Yesterday also feel like they're pulled straight out of the rock to masterful effect. So, when we going to Moscow? Not soon enough, man. I know we're gonna burn it down when we get there. Do you agree with our list? Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. What's your favorite movie-inspired moment from the Call of Duty series? For more theatrical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley.